Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we are right back to work on the 1996 CD7 Accord. I know a lot of you guys been asking like, yo, where's the EF? It's right here, man. It's, it's not going nowhere. We're still gonna be making progress on that, but we got like a week worth of really nice days coming up. So I wanna take advantage and prep this thing so we could get it ready for epoxy. Damn, you know what? I probably should have kept the bumper and the lip on here just to please the eye real quick again, but I guess I could insert it real quick. I'm just, you know, we're trying to make progress here. We got work to do, you know what I'm saying? So I just came in here and started putting in work and I just kind of spaced it. So yeah, I'll just insert a clip right now so you guys can see, I mean, how beautiful this thing is looking, man. And we're just at the beginning too. So it's only gonna keep getting better. So make sure you guys subscribe right now if you haven't already and smash that thumbs up but and smash that thumbs up button because it's gonna help out the channel a lot. You know what I'm saying? I have an unrealistic goal of getting the channel to 10,000 subscribers by December. I know it's insane, but with your help, I know we can do it. But uh, yeah, anyway, we got a lot of work to do. So let's start prepping this front end, baby. I started off by removing the front fenders because since they already have E-coat, they're protected from the elements and rusting. So I wanted to make sure we get the rest of the car masked up and sprayed first to protect any bare metal that we have exposed. So now I could go back with the sandpaper and make sure we have all the crevices sanded because we want a good mechanical bond for the epoxy. Look, you can see because there's some spots where like the paint gun laid the epoxy on kind of dry. So like look, you can hear that. And like the microfiber wants to get stuck on there. So even though the surface is kind of rough, it doesn't really matter too much with the epoxy primer because it gets sanded anyway. And here I'm going back over it with the 220 just to spray epoxy over it again, just to make sure that we have good coverage and the rust protection and corrosion protection that we need for the car. So you can see that the epoxy is pretty tough. I went over this quite a bit, but you can still see like these darker spots right here is where I still need to go over it a little bit. So even though I went over it quite a bit, it's still all there. All right, now check out this difference, man. Look at that. Barely even pressing. Whoo, that shit is smooth as fuck, boy. And then I also went around the edges with the 220 by hand just to get all the edges nice and clean and make sure that everything's sanded. But um, now that we got the hood done, I'm gonna actually leave the fenders till last just because I can just do those whenever, you know, they're small enough to where if it's raining or whatever, I could do it in the garage. But yeah, now to make more progress, since I'm done with the hood, I'm just gonna pull the car back into into the garage start wiping it down and start masking this thing so we can uh, spray this epoxy man let's go if you've ever masked a car you know how long it takes it seems like a simple process but there's just so many steps to it it just takes a minute man but we're starting off wiping the car down and starting with the sunroof because I'm gonna be laying a plastic over it so I just want that part to be done first so I'm using the paper because it's to me it's easier to use on smaller areas rather than this plastic but now that we got the roof done we're laying the whole plastic over the whole car since we got a big area to do might as well just make it a little bit easier and I also feel like the plastic helps a lot if you're doing this by yourself because it kind of holds on to the sides but here you can see me using the paper again because like i said the smaller areas are easier with the paper and masking is a good thing to get good at because the paint job could turn out good or bad depending on how you mask because you can get like hard lines exposed that you can't get rid of so it does make a difference but even though masking takes a while the end All result right, ladies and gentlemen always looks after, really good i don't know masking just takes a long time man but she is fully ready to go and she looks good the tape job came out so sick look at this shit i'll just walk you around real quick i put a little um i put a moving blanket under here that way the hood sits up a little bit and i have just a better angle to get to things but 
yeah she's looking really good man i got the door handles done gas door and pretty much everywhere i also have it fully wiped down with the wax and grease remover that way we get as much contaminants off of it as possible but uh we're ready to go man we're ready to start mixing up this epoxy and start laying it down let's go so now we're on to the fun stuff spraying the epoxy now when I first used this stuff, I was surprised how thick it is. So we have to make sure we stir it and make sure it flows right. We're using the T-Rex Epoxy from Speedo Coat. This was recommended by Brian from Paint Society, so I decided to give it a try and ever since I used it, it's given me no problems. I spray it out of an LVLP gun, low volume, low pressure, which is a spray gun that you can use with the smaller compressors for the DIY because the bigger compressors require the 220 outlet which if you don't have I mean obviously you can't run those so these smaller guns I mean they're the same size but they don't require as much air so we can use those at home but I'm spraying out of a 1.3 tip because I re um, mixed the epoxy 4 to 1 and I added 10% reducers so it flows pretty nice but regardless, it's still pretty thick stuff. I was aiming for at least one coat with the epoxy that I had left, and if we're lucky, then I can get two. But yeah, I started on the passenger side, working my way over the roof to the driver's side, starting from back to front, and just started getting in a groove. Spraying goes by so fast, it's like the last 5% of the job. The hard part is obviously the body work and make sure and making sure you sand everything properly which is 90 percent of the work and then the most satisfying part is just it's over super fast you don't even really have time to think all right ladies and gents i'm happy to say that the cord is finally all one color even though it's just epoxy it's all one color finally and this thing like i said man it's, it's progress is going to be happening super fast because we just got to let this dry now for about four or five days just to make sure it fully dries and it cures how it's supposed to and then we can go ahead and sand this down and spray high build but here you go man so you can see the result that shit looks so good the it does look stripy, but it's just because I think the epoxy just dries really fast, man, because uh, you can see that spot where I shot just a little bit after and it just stays like that. But the car looks so good, man. God damn. Now that it's one color, it just makes it feel more legit, you know, rather than seeing it all patchy and stuff. But uh, one thing I did want to mention is i mean obviously you could still see the filler but i was only able to get one coat because i had like maybe half or a little bit less than half of the gallon of epoxy so i was able to get one coat on everything and good thing i didn't do those fenders first because if i did i literally wouldn't have had enough i just had enough man so we got everything pretty much I mean, everything's black now except the rear bumper because, I mean, that doesn't need epoxy since it's plastic. But, uh, yeah, keep going around to this side. So, see, this is what I'm telling you right here. See how it's, like, different right here? And that's because, I don't know, I mean, I literally sprayed that, like, a couple minutes after. And I think just the difference in the dry time makes it look different. But... This side already had all the black epoxy, so it looks super smooth. You can't see any of the filler underneath because, well, yeah, it already had the epoxy, but damn, bro. Here's the roof. I got a little dry spot right there. Damn it. No biggie. I mean, it all gets sanded. But yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, I'll leave you guys off with the montage so you can see how it looks, but i mean overall this video was just super simple i mean it's kind of hard to get crazy shots when it's just you know masking and shooting paint i mean yeah simple video but huge progress on the accord man if you like the video make sure you smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to keep up with all the content coming because it's going to be coming fast man so 
yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.